We're gonna get started. Okay, so Landon, if you don't have paper or a dry erase board, how do you plan on doing anything today? You need to get one or the other, okay? Otherwise, how are you going to do something? Mrs. Kniffel, can we, can we play that weird Casey Shuffle song that Mrs. Jones made us listen to? Yeah, I've never heard that before. So um, I'll have to look it up and maybe we can play it tomorrow. Okay, right on the board. No, I don't think no one wants to hear that song. It's crazy. No, please don't, please don't. Please don't. All right, hey, I'm not playing anything, so I don't even know where to find it. I've never heard of it. Mrs. Jones said that it to me yesterday, like told me about it yesterday, but I've never heard of it. So I'm not playing anything today. Today we're just gonna work on multiplying decimals. So remember, yesterday we talked about the most important thing for adding and subtracting decimals is lining it, lining up the decimals. They got to be in perfect straight line. But for multiplying decimals, they don't have to be in that perfect straight line. Which, you know, that's how it's tricky. You know, things are always changing. So, Mrs. Kneifel, you guys don't have to work this out one right. This one you don't have to work out. I'm just going to show you. Uh, then we'll start doing some. So, if I had, let's say I had five tenths. 0 0.5 times, let's say, 3. So, I have a 1. It's out. It came out one spot. So, I throw that 1 over there to make sure that I remember to put it back in one. And then I just do the problem. Three times five is 15. Carry my one. Three times zero is zero. Plus one is one. And then I got to put my decimal spot in one spot. So I start in the back and move it right here. So my answer would be one and five tenths. Okay. Miss Mia, you forgot to carry that one. And then you have, oh, wait, maybe I just couldn't see how it was written. Okay? So does anyone have any questions so far? Does everyone see? I like to take out my decimal first thing so I can, and I tell myself how many spots I have to put it back in. I normally circle it. That way I know for sure I'm not going to miss it. So I'm going to give you a problem now, okay? And I'm not worried about estimating right now. Let's just do the actual problem. Okay? No, we're not going to use mental math, Evan. We're going to work it out the right way, okay? We're going to work it out. We're just now learning how to multiply decimals. Now would not be the time to use mental math, okay? I want you to work it out. I want to see your board, see your paper, however you're doing it. So I'm going to do 0 0.7 times 2. 0 0.7 times 2. I don't want to see your board until I tell you to show me your board. I want everyone to have a chance. So remember, you're doing multiplication just like how you know how to do multiplication, but you got to take your decimal out, put your decimal back in. And I would like to see your work. Don't be using any mental math. All right, so what's the first thing Mrs. Kneifel's going to do? I'm going to take my decimal out. It comes out one spot. Two times seven is 14. Carry my one. Two times zero is zero. Plus one is one. Put my decimal in one spot. My answer should be 1.4. One and four tenths should be my answer. All right, I'm seeing correct answers, which makes me happy. 
Landon, I need to see your work somehow. If you're, oh wait, Landon, you just typed it in. Okay. Um, if I if your camera's not on, you need to be typing it in. Okay. Next problem. Don 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 don. Corgan, why are you sitting in the dark? Six tenths times four. Six tenths times four. Times four. Corgan, it looks like you're in the dark. This would be a good time to. This is why it's important to know our. Um, this is can I fall? Yeah, don't don't type things in yet till I say type them in yet. Okay, because I want everyone to have a chance. Mrs. Can I fall's brain is totally not working right now. Um, sorry, I'm getting emails. Check your video. <sighs> Sorry. Sorry, I just can't even think. All right. Anyways, yeah, just give it a second. That way everyone has a chance to do it. Oh, anyways, what I was thinking is this is why it's important to know our multiplication facts. All right, so four times. Oh, wait, first step. First step. I take out my decimal one spot. Take it out one spot. Two or six times four is 24. Carry my two. Oh, that's a terrible two. Four times zero is zero plus two is two. Put my decimal in one spot. Your answer should be 2.4. I repeat, your answer should be 2.4. All right, next problem, I'm gonna switch it up. Everyone be ready. I have already got every single one right. I'm glad. All right, you just have to make sure, right now the decimal's only in one spot, but when it can get a little bit confusing if the decimal's in both numbers. So you don't have to do this problem, but for example, if Mrs. Kneifel had 0. 0.34 times 0. 0.3, now like it gets a little bit confusing if the decimal in both which is why I would count it would be one, two, three. Okay, I'm just saying, you you know. It's just what Mrs. Knifel does. If you do it a different way, that's totally fine, but make sure you're getting the correct answer, okay? Next problem. Okay, this one's a little bit different. I have point thirteen hundredths times seven. Point thirteen hundredths times seven. 0.13 times 7. So if you do it the way Mrs. Knifel does, I take it out, put it back in. Make sure you're muted. I like it better with butter on my toast. Oh, yeah, it tastes so much better. Nolan, mute yourself, please. Mm -hmm. And I don't want to see your board yet. Remember, give everyone else a chance to answer. Got to give people a chance. All right, so for this one, remember, these are like, I want to say simple multiplication problems. If we don't have multiplication facts, you should be quick, quick, quick. The only difference is adding that decimal. So Mrs. Kneifel likes to take it out two spots. Seven times three is 21. Carry my two. Seven times one is one plus two is nine. Put my decimal in. One, two. Your answer should be point. 
91 hundreds. Point ninety one hundredths. Landon, this is why it's important to actually be working it out. Mental math isn't going to work for this. Point ninety one hundredths, okay? I'm seeing correct answers for most of us. Fabulous, fabulous, fabulous. Looks like most of us put our decimal in the right spot. We remember to put it in two spots. All right. Let's give it another go round. Okay, new problem. Point 29 hundredths times four. Point 29 hundredths times four. Remember, please don't put your answer until I say so. That way everyone else has a chance to answer it, okay? All right. Ready. And I take my decimal out. Oh, oops. Two spots. Mrs. Kniffle likes to put the two over here so I remember for later. Four times nine is... Is it 36? Yeah. Six, carry my three. Two times four is eight, nine, ten, eleven. Put my decimal in two spots. One, two. The answer is one and sixteen hundredths. One and sixteen hundredths. Let me see your board, my friends. Let me see, Bart. Okay. All right. Done, 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 done. We're doing one again. Okay, my decimal's in a different spot this time. Make sure you're paying attention. My decimal's in a different spot. Oh, wait, Mrs. Kneipel's first step. I take out my decimal so I know for later. Eight times two is six. Teen, eight, nine. Put in my decimal one spot. Your answer should be nine and six tenths. Your answer should be nine and six tenths. Awesome. Awesome sauce, friends. Looks like we're having some right answers.
Make sure you're not leaving off that decimal. Make sure it's big enough I can see it. Make sure you're all working this out. Okay. Next problem, I have decimals in both my numbers. You don't have to tell me when you're done in the chat. You can just wait it out, okay? I'll tell you when I'm ready to see it, so just be done. My name, it's 4 and 2 tenths times 8 tenths. 4.2 times 0.8. You should pin me. If you pin me, you'll be able to see me all the time. You don't need to see everyone else. You really just need to see myself. Mrs. Kniefel. Yes. Well, what would happen if you had, um, if you multiplied two numbers that um, the decimals weren't in the same spot? We'll do that next. We don't ever need decimals for multiplication to be in the same spot. We'll do that next. This one, they just coincidentally are in the same spot. All right, so. First step, Mrs. Knopf likes to take it out. One here, one here, that equals two total. Eight times two is 16, carry my one. Eight times four is 32, plus one is 33. It needs to go in two spots, one, two. My answer is three and 36 hundredths. My answer is three and 36 hundredths. Isabel Hanlon, your decimals are in the wrong spot, ma'am. Still in the wrong spot. Mia, you only put your decimal in one spot. It needs to go in two spots. Remember, we're doing, it needs to go in two spots. All right, friends, that's why it's important to count it out. Lots of you are putting your decimal in the wrong spot. I had to take it out one, two spots. I had to put it back in one, two spots, okay? Some of you guys just moved it down like an addition and subtraction and that's not how we do it. All right, so if I had the problem 11, point 11 times point two, we're just gonna do this one together, okay? So point 11 times point two, these are clearly in, the decimals are in different spots. So this is where counting it out to count it back in helps. So I take out my decimal two spots at the top. One, two, and then three. See, I took it out three spots. So I'm going to have to put it back in at three spots. Two times one is two. Two times one is two. So I need to put it back in. One, two, three. So then I even have to add a zero. So that one is point zero two two. Okay? Mia, what's up? If, if you... um. If you only have two decimals, then why are you moving it over three times? Because, look, my decimal is before the number 11. 11 has two digits, so I have to move it out one, two spots at the top. And then I have a decimal before the two. So I have to move it out here, so that equals one. Two plus one is three. Okay. Okay. All right, so let's try another one like that, okay? So if I have point three four point thirty four times point two, that decimal is gonna have to be moved out three spots. Look, one, two, three. All right, do the problem for me. Point thirty four times point two.
Isaac, I already said you do not need to type when you're done, okay? All right, let's give it a try. So I already told you it needs to go out three spots. So now two times four is eight. Three times two is six. Now I need to put my decimal in three spots. One, two, a third spot. So I even need to add a zero. Your answer should be 0 .068. 0 .068. You have to add that zero because it has to go in three spots. Sometimes there's a glitch and it looks like their cameras are off, Isaac, but I'm seeing lots and lots of people's cameras, so. Also, that's not what you need to worry about, Isaac, okay? You just worry about math, not people's cameras. All right. All right, new problem. 7.5 times 0. 0.4. 7.5 times All right, so my decimal needs to go out one, two spots. So I'm going to put my two over here so I remember to put it in two spots later. Four times five is 20. Put my zero down here. Carry my two. Cadence, you have no decimal, ma'am. Three times, or seven times four is 28, plus two is 30. Put in my decimal. I guess it is just three. But it needs to go in two spots. So it'd be 3.00 or just three cadence. I guess that would work because it's just zeros. 3.00. It's fine. Someone, who is this? Corgan, you only put your decimal in one spot. You need to put it in two spots. It should be 3.00 gauge. Same with you. You only put your decimal in one spot. It needs to go in two spots. No, it would not, Isaac. We have to put our decimal in two spots. One, two. Not one spot, two spots, because we took it out of two spots. So the answer is 3.00, okay? All right, we have time for one more. You have to make sure you're putting your decimal in the right spot. However many you took it out is how many you have to put it in. All right, however many spots you take your decimal out is how many you have to put them in.
All right, so remember, this is just multiplication like we've always done, but we got to take out the decimal and put them back in. I take out my decimal two times. Five times one is five. Five times three is 15. My decimal needs to go in two spots. One, two. Your answer should be 1.55. Angelina, you only put your decimal in one spot. It needs to go in two spots spots one and fifty five hundredths one point five five should be your answer miss can i feel, can you explain that though because i put mine there because both of the decimals there are only one before this is multiplication it is not addition and subtraction which is what we've been doing this whole time so just because they're lined up does not mean we move them straight down that is for addition and subtraction this is for multiplication that is why i take them both out I took it out one spot here. I took it out one spot here. One plus one is two. So that's why I circle my two over here because I have to put it back in two spots. So I start at the bottom. I put it in one, two times, okay? You do not bring it straight down in multiplication. That's addition and subtraction. You take it out and put it back in. So we took it out two spots. We put it back in two spots. So your answer should be 1.55, okay? Obviously, we just started this, so we're going to keep on working on this and keeping on working on this. So if you don't totally have it yet, it's no big deal. We're going to keep on working on it. This is what we're going to do tomorrow. You're going to work more on it in Mrs. Jones's class today. But you, for the most part, you guys did a pretty good job today. It looks like we're kind of starting to get it already, which is fabulous. Um, we have reading in about minutes. Yes. Um, I think that some people were confused because we haven't learned, like, multiplying by two decimals yet we've just been multiplying by one decimal with a number hey well that's why we're just you'll just be ahead of the game for most part we still got it though okay so anyways you take it out what you take out you have to put it back in okay so we have reading in 10 minutes you guys did a good job even if it was something new today way to work hard good job peeps i will see you guys in 10 minutes in reading class goodbye 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 See you guys in 10 minutes. Way to work hard, even if it was something new. Good job.